Hello viewers, how are you? So a while back I did a video on Nitinol, otherwise known as Memory Metal, and I noticed there was a few questions and ideas in the comments section, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to try some of these out. I've also got a lot of Nitinol to get rid of. So in the previous video I showed how the Nitinol remembers its original form when it's heated up. Now, many people were wondering if you could tie it in a knot and would it revert to its original shape? Let's give that a go. So I tried a various array of different knots and from what I've noticed, it kind of works. Even though I couldn't get the knot as tight as I wanted because it's made from metal, it's still pretty impressive. Okay, let's try something else. So, here's a new batch of nitinol, which I'm going to show you how to program into a new shape. I'm going to bend it and hold it in place with this clamp. Now, to set the new shape, I need to heat the area of nitinol to around 500 degrees with the blowtorch. After that, I poured cold water over the nitinol to supercool it. And now, when I heat up the wire, it should bend back into the shape I just created. Nice! I then proceeded to try and make a new shape, so I wrapped some more wire around the top of a can and heated it to set the circular shape. And now, when I heat up this pathetic excuse for a triangle, it reverts back to a circular shape. Interesting. Now for this last test, it's just a bit of fun. I scrumpled up a big bunch of straight nitinol and threw it in a jar of hot water, just to see what would happen really. Here we go, and it kind of looks like a spider's web. So there we have it, more experiments with nitinol. So don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter, the links are below, and I'll see you next time.